Captain, I understand you've reached Balmora. Let's get straight to it, shall we? Imperial forces conquered the planet during the First War, but a Balmoran resistance movement has fought the occupation to this day. Republic support for the resistance has been inconsistent over the years. But now, our forces are pushing to drive the Empire off Balmora for good. If our people need backup, they can count on Havoc Squad. Your primary objective, of course, is the recruitment of Havoc Squad's new explosives expert. His name is Tano Vic. Vic is a weakway and a natural at demolitions work. But he also has a history of insubordination and collateral damage. Keep him on a short leash. I'm sure I can keep him out of trouble, General. I hope so. To be clear, Vic's infractions were not minor, and they led to his dishonorable discharge over a year ago. He is, however, the most skilled demolitionist on record, and Havoc Squad needs the best. Fuse is still around, General. Couldn't I use him? Treason is a serious crime. Whatever his regrets, Fuse will never serve in an active field unit again. Vic is currently fighting as a mercenary for the Balmoran Resistance. His supervisor is a Resistance leader named Arden. Meet with Arden. Learn where Vic is stationed and pull him out as quickly as possible. Contact me again when you've done so. Garza out. So let's focus on those war mechs landing on the plateau. Look, it's one of our dependable friends from the Republic. Meeting's over, people. I wouldn't dream of keeping a Republic officer waiting. I'm just here to do my job, sir. Yeah, never heard that one before. General Garza sent me a message explaining everything. I've got Vic's current assignment details right here. I'm glad to hear the Republic's finest aren't here to help, but to take away one of my best men instead. We're honored. Really? Havoc Squad needs a demolitions expert. Of course. And what Havoc needs, Havoc gets. Vic is taking one of our teams on a patrol run. Their next stop is our signal interception post. You can catch up with him there. Now if that's all, there are real soldiers who need my time. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh, anything for the Republic. Scanning Sector 2. Nothing. Just like the others, Pran. Excuse me. I'm looking for Tano Vic. Ah! Oh! You're with the Republic. I thought I was dead meat. Looking for Vic, huh? That weak way scumbag is long gone. It's imperative that I locate him immediately. Vic was here earlier, but he slipped away when we weren't looking, along with our entire security team. All he left was this hollow recording. Gentlemen, Tano Vic, 5030 Regulars. I'm afraid your fine security team is being co-opted for a very important top-secret mission. This is all on Republic orders, of course. Part of the big push. Take a look at Regulation 235R. You'll see that everything checks out. Have a good one. Forex, do you have any record of that code? That regulation doesn't match any that I've been programmed to consider, Captain. Vic is the least of our problems. With security gone, Imperial Commandos have breached the perimeter and started sabotaging our equipment. All of our comm relays are down. General Rackton himself could march an army through here and we would have no way to warn anyone. Is there any way to get the relays back online? Judging by the way the relays cut out, I'd guess the imps just yanked the power couplings. Easy fix, but the problem will be fighting through those commando teams. Do you think you can manage it? I'll have the relays back online in no time. Just like that, huh? Just another day on the job. We'll try to hold down the fort while you're gone. Good luck. You did it! Com 
comms are back up and we've already picked up a lot of Imperial chatter. You really made an impression. I couldn't stand by while allies were in danger. We won't forget it. You can bet on that. Once the equipment came back up, Dalba had the bright idea of tapping Vic's communications, like we do the imps. Listen to this. A dangerous mission. No doubt about it. To be honest, a lot of you probably won't make it back. Of course, if you ask the guys up top, they'll never even admit to ordering this mission. That's how it is in this business. But we're not here for glory or credits. We're here to save Balmora. Am I right? Why would Vic suddenly take off on a mission like this? Beats me. But he must have something to gain. Step one is Sobrik. Once we have what we need there, it will be a straight shot to our final objective. Sobrik's an Imperial-occupied city, one of their main bases of operations on Balmora. Sounds like you could catch up to Vic there. Is there any way you can raise him on his hollow? No. He's smart enough to leave it off when he's not using it. I know a guy, a major in the Republic Special Forces, Triam. He's been helping us out around Sobrik. I'll bet he could narrow down the search for you. Thanks again for all your help. And good luck catching up to that scumbag. Captain, I'm Major Triam, 35th Recon. You can stand at ease. I appreciate your time, Major. I'm hoping you can help me find a weak way named Tano Vic. I'll bet I can. That lying filth volunteered to destroy some Imperial jammers in Sobrik. They're blocking the scan data from all of our high-altitude probe droids. Vic took the explosives, but never did the job. The Resistance needs the data from those probes to avoid patrols and conduct raids. Just give me the target coordinates and I'll move out. It's not that simple, unfortunately. You'll need detonite charges to bring the jammers down. Vic took the last of mine, so you'll have to do a bit of scrounging. The imps have checkpoints scattered through Sobrik. They'll have explosives. Once you have enough charges, hit those jammers hard. Consider the jammer scrap, sir. Once the jammers are down, and we start getting full aerial scans of Sobrik, we can pinpoint exactly where Vic took my explosives. Contact me via Holo as soon as the jammers are down. Dismiss, Captain. Jammers have been destroyed, Major. I repeat, the jammers are down. That's good to hear, Captain. I was starting to sweat. All right, the aerial scans are coming in now. Let's see if we can find that weak way. Hmm. I'm seeing signs of an explosive entry at the Imperial HQ, near the administrative offices. We don't have any people in the area, so it's got to be Vic's handiwork. Why would Vic attack Imperial headquarters? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Somehow, I doubt it's as heroic as it sounds. I'm sending you the coordinates now. When you run into Vic, pass on my thanks for all his help. Try out now. Just who does that make you, exactly? I'm the commander of Havoc Squad. I'm here to recruit you. <laughs> I thought that message was a prank. This is too good. 
I really want to hear what the Republic has to offer me. Because last I checked, I wasn't winning any popularity contests with Command. But that'll have to wait until my work here is done. I couldn't stand to leave without doing my part for the Balmorans. We can do this faster together. What's the objective? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Count yourself in, Captain. My team and I just grabbed an enemy VIP named Brel Orus. He's a Balmoran fat cat who sold out to the imps. Baby mongrel slime! You'll pay for this! You'll pay for this! Brel has volunteered the location of a hazard vault where my objective is hidden. I'm borrowing a Republic missile battery to blast it open. What's hidden inside the hazard vault, Vic? Let me worry about that part. I need you to clear a path. There are all sorts of defenses that could stop my missile before it hits. The imps have anti-missile turrets, shields, defensive sensors. Why don't you start with the sensors? Take them down, then contact me again. Copy? I'll be in touch, Vic. Can't wait. Sensor stations are down, Vic. Nice job. I guess they say Havoc is the best for a reason. I have to ask, Captain. Why me? I mean, sure, I'm pretty incredible. But last I heard, the guys up top weren't too interested in having me around. Havoc Squad has to have the top explosives expert in the Republic. And that's me, huh? I'm flattered. <laughs> From a dishonorable discharge to Havoc Squad in less than a year. It's a crazy galaxy. Let's get back to helping these poor, pitiful Balmorans. Now that the sensors are gone, I need you to hit the Imps' anti-missile turrets. Think you can handle that? I can handle a few turrets. Good deal. Keep in touch. Vic out. hasty certifications on the Imperial's part. the anti-missile turrets. Much appreciated. We're going to be ready to launch in no time. So, what's it like being top squad in the Republic? You have command breathing down your neck, or do they give you room to operate? As long as Havoc delivers results, nobody asks questions. Hmm, sounds like my kind of job. Only one more thing between my missile and its target. An aerial shield generator. Take it down, and we'll be go for launch, Captain. Taking the shield down shouldn't be a problem. You're a pro. No doubt about it. See you soon. Vic out. Captain, with all due respect, I don't think it wise to play Vic's game. He should be doing what you ask, not the other way around. This is our only shot at catching up to him. I don't see any other options. You're right, of course, but it's no less frustrating. I'll follow your lead whenever you're ready. shield generator is disabled. Just what I wanted to hear. I'm dying to launch this baby. Target coordinates locked in. Fire.
<laughs> the imps are really going to feel this one. I'm glad I could help. Wish I could have pulled you in from the start. You've made this up a breeze. I can't wait to shake your hand, Captain. See you soon. Help. Got to help. They took him. The imps took Vic. Can you do anything for him, Dorn? I'm on it, sir. Oh, thank you. It was... It was that traitor, Brel Oris. He gave the imps our position somehow. We fought hard. But they overran us. They tore straight through and grabbed Vic. They'll take him to the Balmoran Arms Factory. The imps built a prison in the back of the complex. No one ever comes out. I'm going to get Vic back. Period. You're a real hero. You and Vic both. You're heroes. Your condition is stabilized, soldier. But get to a safe location immediately. Thanks. I can make my own way back. You two need to save Vic. Good luck, friend. I'm gonna get back to base before these stims wear off. Well, it's been fun, guys. But looks like my ride is here. Nice knowing you. Drop your weapon! Surrender now! I made it this far. Do you really think you can stop me? He's got a point. You don't want to die here, do you? Shut up! We do not negotiate with Riffraff! The Empire fears no one. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. I won't ask again. Hand over the prisoner. He'll pay for his crimes, and so will you! What are you waiting for? Kill him! That was exciting. It's good to finally meet you in person, Captain. Welcome to Havoc Squad, Vic. Now there's something I never expected to hear. So, what does Havoc Squad do with worthless enemy bureaucrats? Uh, <laughs> let's not be hasty now. I am a man of honor, despite what you may have heard. Yeah, nice guy. You stole from your people, and betrayed them to the Empire by accident. I've made mistakes, certainly, but allow me to make amends. A contribution of credit, say, to repay the Republic's heroism on behalf of my fellow Balmorans. You can't buy your way out of this. No! No! Ah! Sir! 
Sir, he wasn't even armed. It's not like anyone's going to miss the guy. Now, seeing as we're all on the same team, I'll fill you in on my little operation. That vault we blew open is full of pricey prototype weapons designed by Balmoran companies. Oris had them hidden before the Imperial invasion to keep them safe. Oris never told the Imperials about these weapons? Of course not. He wanted to make money on them. Oris planned to sell the prototypes for a tidy profit. We could do the same, after picking a few choice items for ourselves. Those prototypes should be put to use, not sold for profit. Quite right, Captain. These weapons must be turned over to the proper authorities in accordance with Regulation 87C. I bet you change your mind once those blasters are in front of us. Let's just get to the vault. If we don't move fast, the imps might find the prototypes. Let's do this. Here they are, Sergeant. Go ahead and bring your men through. It's clear. Captain, this is Sergeant Tong. I took the liberty of calling his transport team in to get these captured enemy weapons crated and moved. I appreciate you coming all this way to help us. No problem, sir. Hostile pickup is our specialty. Where can we take this stuff for you, sir? Yeah, sir. Where are they taking all these highly advanced, highly useful, highly valuable prototype weapons? These weapons belong to the Balmorans. They should go back to them. Copy that, sir. Get moving, men! You're insane! The Balmorans are never going to share that tech with the Republic when they could make money instead. Those weapons were designed and built by Balmorans. We don't have any right to them. Nobody would have those weapons if not for us. We did all the work. I finally tracked down Vic. He's coming with me. Yeah, I heard about the prototype weapons. You think giving them back makes up for years of Republic mistakes? I don't have any agenda. The weapons belong on Balmora. Yeah, right. Vic is probably the only reason you're leaving the prototypes. He understood what Balmora's been through. I could always tell. I don't care what you think, Arden. I've got places to be. Yeah, I'll bet you do. I'd like to say it's been a pleasure having you here, Captain, but we both know that's a lie. Come back when Havoc Squad is done showboating all over the galaxy. We'll put you to work for a real cause. When I'm done saving the Republic, maybe I'll stop by. Captain, were you successful in locating and extracting Tano Vic to serve in Havoc Squad? Consider me located and extracted, General. Good. From now on, you will speak only when spoken to. Has Vic given you any trouble, Captain? A bit, but I cleared things up. I'm glad to hear it. Tano Vic, your service with the Republic Army is hereby resumed. You are posted to Special Forces Unit 326, codenamed Havoc Squad, at the rank of Specialist. It's a real honor to be here, General. I look forward to getting out there and fighting for the Republic again. Permission to speak, Captain. What do you have to say, Lieutenant? Vic's a liar, he's reckless, and he has no regard for the lives of his fellow soldiers. With all due respect, I don't think someone like Vic has a place anywhere in the Republic Army, let alone Havoc Squad. This squad has to have the best explosives expert available. That's Vic. Just don't say I didn't warn you, sir. I understand your concerns, but we have a job to do. Let's focus on it. An urgent situation has developed, involving a critical part of our plan to assault the Gauntlet. Havoc Squad is needed immediately. A platoon specializing in bunker assaults, 
code name Safecrackers, is trapped behind enemy lines on Quesh. They must be rescued immediately. We cannot destroy the gauntlet without them. I'll proceed to Quesh immediately, General. When you reach Quesh, report to Major Donovan. He's overseeing the rescue operation. I'll follow Major Donovan's orders to the letter, General. This mission is vital, Captain. If we fail, our entire operation against the gauntlet is ruined. Stay focused and bring those men home. Garza out. <laughs>